You're listening to the best radio VPS. It's a great day. Welcome, everybody, to On the Rise with Yolanda and Marja and I'm, Tiara. Yay. <laughs> we have a guest in the studio. I love it when we have so guests in the studio. Yeah, it just takes everything up a notch. I all know. of our excitement, <laughs> all of the laughter, <laughs> your experience. Yes, I wish sometimes people could see behind the scenes. Yes, of like before rise. we go live. <laughs> Just it's like not a, the singing clip. That's, that's, that's <laughs> all I ask. See, hey, we weren't gonna talk hey, about the singing. Hey. Look, we weren't gonna talk about. You already diamond us out. You already diamond us out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not Mar just singing. Right, right. So, so my, you know what? My. I just want to give a shout out to Musa and to yes. Alicia. Thanks, Musa They helped Alicia. us with some videos. Yes. And so we will be posting those soon. But I just kept thinking when we were cutting up beforehand that Musa would have loved all that footage. You I'm know? so glad he wasn't here. Because, you know, he just throw everything out That's here. Right, we would have been in trouble for there. real. So, yeah, so, it's so, good. So. so we usually start out the show. We talk about a recap. We want you to know that you can always reach us on our social media platforms. Yes. Facebook. Instagram at on the oh I'm sorry and Twitter at on the rise talk mm -hmm. and on YouTube at on the rise talk show so yes. we have to add the show at the end for YouTube uh, we stream live there every weekend at 5 p.m. That's right. So you all can catch us there and on Radio VPS. Dot com. Yes, and so. at the top of the show, we always like to remind you of our social media, but also of the call-in number if you yes. want to participate in the show, particularly with our guests today. And that number is 240-391-8688. I'll say it again. It's 240-391-8688. You can call with a comment or a question. Yes. And we'd be happy to have you. Yes, we're excited today because we have Tiara in the studio. Um, if you have any young people in your life, yes. go get them and make them listen to this show. That's right. Text this them now. This is going to be good. Text them now and tell them to tune in. Yes, because we're continuing and wrapping up our summer series on mental health That's right. um, and self-care from self-aware to self-care. And Tiara's taking us the whole gamut. All She's taking us from self-aware to self-care yeah, all the way. in one book. <laughs> Absolutely. That's the goal at least. <laughs> so we are just so happy to have her in the studio today. Um, I think we're just going to go ahead and just share our, we asked her her favorite scripture. Yes. And I think it goes along with all the things that she has been through and she's mm. going to be sharing with us today. So didn't know if uh, you wanted to go ahead and get into the scripture today so we can just get into the conversation. Might as well, because yes. I think we have a lot to talk about. I think we're going to need a lot of time. Today. Yes, yes. <laughs> so our scripture of the day is actually a favorite of all of us, yes. really. Yes, um, One of my Romans, first favorites. First favorite. First favorite. Hey, priority, <laughs> priority. Yes. We're going to talk more about that too. <laughs> but our scripture of the day is Romans 8, 28. And this is one that uh, may be familiar to some mm -hmm. of you. And we know that for those that love God, all things work together yes. for good. For those who are called according to his purpose. I had yes. to check it because I've memorized it in a different mm -hmm. version. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Those, those, those little yes, words me. will throw you off a little a bit. Little, yeah. you know. But basically, this is a scripture that we kind of throw out a lot. Yes. If, if you go to church, mm -hmm. uh, if you've ever been in a church, right. um, if you have a praying mother, um, you know, you've probably yes. heard all things work together for the good. Yes. Um, but I think the second part of that verse is just as important as the Absolutely. first. For those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose Correct. because we have to remember that he works it for good Amen. not us Amen. and just because he works it for good does not mean it feels good Correct. and it doesn't mean that Oof. we see it as good when it happens and so there's so much power yes. contained in this verse. There's so much theology yes. contained in this verse that we really can't get into fully here. But <laughs> no. just, just, you know, we admonish you to remember not just the verse by itself, but in its entirety. Amen. And the Romans 8 chapter is so powerful yes, it anyway. Is. Yes, it um, is. And so you can go back and read the whole chapter if you like. But we're focusing on that verse. So you don't preach the whole sermon. I'm sorry. I just, but you know. I, I wanted to ask you, why is that your favorite verse? 
It is my favorite verse, um, literally of all times, because it reminds me that the good, yeah. the bad, the ugly. Yes. Mm-hmm. But not only that, but all includes the big things and the small Amen. things. Yes. Um, Amen. So when I've come across certain things that you think are so minor, mm-hmm. but it's literally life changing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and mm-hmm. so my example of this being applied to my life um when I suffered my miscarriages. Mm. I miscarried twins Mm. back to Mm. back. And Mm. so going through that, you can think like this is absolute rock bottom, Mm -hmm. Um, but the good that has come from it, not from necessarily losing my sons, but Mm -hmm. from the recovery in the aftermath. And then my example of the small, um, years ago, I want to say 2012, I went to an event just going with my sorority sister mm-hmm. and she was supporting someone she went to college with and we just went. I ended up on a listserv wow. um, and about three, four years later, I get a random email from now my mentor <laughs> who has catapulted my business. So at See? that time, I'm thinking, I'm just going to an event. Right. right. Um, but literally, it's been a game changer for I my see. business. Nice. You never know. Nice. Yep. Well, you, you just know. jumped right into everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. no, no. Don't apologize. <laughs> it was good. You know, we she did a great transition for us. We, you set it up, so you know all I have to. We all we just have to help you. Yes. We're good. That's right. Pushing on over. That's right. There. So we we might as well just go ahead and jump into her story. Well, let's um, let's put up our resource. And, and, and we'll see. Darnell's so awesome. Dar- he's he already, already on it. He's already. <laughs> This is when you have good people. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> so the resource of the week is Tiara's book, and it is called 23 and Finally Loving yes. Me. You see it on your screen right now. Tiara, where can they get the book from? Yes. So the book can be purchased two different ways. Mm-hmm. Um, if you see me in person, track me down. I always have copies in my car. <laughs> yes. I yes, she does. I, yes. In my trunk, it's always there. Like a good, um, the good businesswoman you are. You know? <laughs> That's right. Um, but also it's available on my website, which is Nicole's network.net mm-hmm. um, there is an N, a S on the end of Nicole's okay. um, it's available on my website nicolesnetwork.net mm-hmm. and it's also available electronically on Amazon awesome. okay so and we will be publishing those links on our pages yes. so just keep a lookout we'll go ahead and publish those out this week for her um, but please go ahead and uh, we're going to put those up actually I think we might have a slide for that later yes. on or Darnell may be working that out right now for yes. you all so you can see it on the screen and this lovely picture of you is that at your launch or just that another was. event? <laughs> that was at my book release party. Nice. Um, it was an emotional day, to oh, say the least. Of course. Um, but that that picture was from my book release party. It had lots of family. Awesome. I was surrounded by my village. Oh, um, nice. Awesome. So even though people that I haven't seen in years, but it was mm-hmm. those people mm-hmm. that were the foundation. Absolutely. Um, you know, friends of my mom's and, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know, family and just being surrounded. Um, but mm-hmm. most importantly, um, the best part about that day was being and being able to show my little sister mm-hmm. and my niece and nephew like you can literally do yes. anything that you want yes. to do. Yes. 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 So that was that was a it was I cried. Oh, I cried. <laughs> so you know what? That is one of your one of the themes that kind of runs through your yes. book. Mm-hmm. Um and particularly I think you hit that point pretty strongly at the end Mm -hmm. just about how you don't want to just do whatever you're doing but you really want it to impact others for sure is that something that you could just talk a little bit more about absolutely so growing up I've always wondered like what's my purpose like you always want to know like why Mm -hmm. am I on this earth Mm -hmm. um and when I discovered that Um, This was actually when I was pregnant with the twins and um, I was in a church group and one of the women in our group came up and said her daughter was struggling with depression Mm -hmm. and suicide. And Mm -hmm. she was she was just asking for us to pray for her daughter Mm because it was a small group class. Mm -hmm. Um, So after the class, I came into her and I said, you know, I've dealt with both of those. Mm -hmm. If you need anything, just call me. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. A week or two later, she did call and she said her daughter had been date raped. And it triggered her suicidal attempts and she ended up hospitalized um, because her attempt was that extreme. Mm. And when we were on the phone, she was like, I just don't know what to say to her. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Everything I say just kind of makes things worse. Mm. And I just don't know how to communicate so that she hears me. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. so in that conversation, I was just telling her, I said, you know, these are the things that I wish my mother would have said. Mm. These are the things I wish my mom would have done or known to do, but I couldn't communicate that that's what I needed. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. So, and then also like when she said this, maybe this is what she was trying to tell Mm. you. And the 
one piece of advice that I have for anybody who is trying to love someone who's hurting, Mm -hmm. don't tell them what to do. Amen. The only thing that I have seen be successful is asking them, what do you need from me? Amen. Mm. And listen to that answer. Mm -hmm. Because Mm -hmm. had my mom asked me in that moment, (coughs) what does she need? What do I need from her? It would have been, I just want to lay around and watch movies. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to think about the solution. I just want to watch movies. Mm. And for her daughter, the answer was, I want to go shopping with my mom. Mm. And so that's what they did. She took the day off from work, um, you know, for a personal day. They went shopping Mm -hmm. and they actually had conversations about life and Mm. not about Mm -hmm that good right um but it was in that moment that was the first time i was actually thankful Amen. for the experiences that i'd been through because i could help somebody get through theirs mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that was when i decided to commit my life to sharing my story openly mm. that so that it can help someone else get through Amen. theirs mm. and i think that we have heard that theme running yes, uh, yes. pretty much all summer with a lot of the different guests that we've mm-hmm. had yes. is that you know while the situation was not good that's right it has benefited it, it has led to personal growth, but mm-hmm. also benefited others from the lessons right. that were learned. And I think that's what God calls us to. For he sure. calls yes. us to, um, you know, after we are comforted, mm-hmm. to go comfort that's someone right. else. That's right. And I love the information that you gave because I believe sometimes we don't always know what to do mm-hmm. to help someone who is in pain. Mm-hmm. No, we don't. And um, when they're in pain, they don't know how to say exactly. it. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Right. And sure. I think sometimes we wait on that because mm-hmm. we don't know. We don't mm-hmm. want to overstep boundaries mm-hmm. um, because we don't understand how right. to comfort. So that was a great yes. piece of advice. And that's for anybody that can use that. That's right. Or so, sometimes we give what we think that they need. Yes. And right. that just kind of further complicates it. It does. Right. Because it does. it's not what they need. Right. And we can't always anticipate what that is. No. Exactly. So it does help to just ask. And even even if you've been through those those moments yourself, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you still don't know what that person Absolutely. needs. Um, Absolutely. And I realized that when I was de- dealing with the grief of my miscarriages, mm-hmm. um, I realized b- before the miscarriages, I wasn't aware, but mm-hmm. I realized my three closest friends mm-hmm. had all suffered miscarriages. Oh, wow. Um, wow. So that was nothing but God because he knew I needed people who understood. Amen. It. Right. Um, but right. even with them having been through those moments mm-hmm. themselves, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it like I still was different. Right. Yes. You know what I mean? Right. I still needed something. Like mm-hmm. one of them wanted space when she was going through mm-hmm. her issues. One of them wanted to act like it never happened right. um, and mm-hmm. just move forward. Right. Whereas I want to talk about I like to talk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do. No, I, I would not talk. have guessed that. You know what? Shocker. <laughs> you are in good company. Absolutely. Okay? But Talkers you know unite. Exactly. <laughs> but when I'm going through things, like the last thing I want is space. The last right. thing I want is right. um, to act like it didn't happen because mm-hmm. right. that's mm-hmm. not healthy for me. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And while it, it's not about doing what I would have wanted, mm-hmm. it's about mm-hmm. doing what that person needs. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So let's talk about that. What? what let, let's share your story with our audience mm-hmm. so that they can mm-hmm. understand because you, you have quite a story <laughs> all kinds of things and I yes. what I love about your story is I think that you kind of have a voice for like your generation mm-hmm. right because Thank you. that is the, an honor it's, it's oh, true an because honor. there are things that you all have gone through mm-hmm. that my generation didn't go through that's yeah. right, right? Yeah, and I'm sure. not that much older than you but I'm like it's different it's still different, it's yeah. different. Yeah. and we have to recognize that yeah. every Different generations have different things to struggle with. I think the biggest difference is when you think about, and I like focusing on different generational Mm -hmm. differences because it makes a difference. Oh, yes, Mm -hmm. it does. And I think the more we understand about different generations, Mm -hmm. the more we can coexist. Yeah. Mm. Um, So when you think about the baby boomers, for example, they were a don't ask, don't tell generation. (laughs) Absolutely. You don't talk about it. You deal with it. You move on. Mm -hmm. Right? So then when they were, they raised the feminist generation. Mm Mm-hmm. I am woman, hear me roar. <laughs> right. Exactly. And you're going to get whatever I give you. Right. I can do it all. Yes. Um, and then in that moment, I think that created our generation who was raised by a lot of people who were raised by single parents mm-hmm. or divorced parents. Yes. And so that has shaped our culture. So different. It yes. really has. So, so when different. we think about relationships and we think about kids and family, like it looks different for us. Absolutely. Yes. And, and that's yes. a great point that you bring up. It, and it changes everything. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. a lot of, and a lot of, um, like when you look at re- newsletters and stuff like that, they're always criticizing millennials about waiting so long to right. get married. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, we were raised by divorcees mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. never been married. So Absolutely. we, and, and us waiting to get married is because we we take it serious. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying other generations didn't, but what I'm saying is we want to, 
even for me specifically, I'd rather wait. Absolutely. And know I got the right person. Absolutely. Then rush and then end up on two, three, four Absolutely. marriages. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And so the, just the value system is a little different. Mm-hmm. And because we were raised by mostly women who, ha- like, literally, my mom, she's done it all, seen it all. Mm-hmm. And she's been working for herself for 15 plus years, wow. mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. owning her own business. So when you're raised by someone who's owned her own business, mm-hmm. single mother of two, mm-hmm. for 15 mm-hmm. plus years, you think a little different. Yes, you do. Like, right. I don't feel like I have to. I like I don't my identity is not wrapped up in who I am or Amen. am not married to. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. That's you know, very so true. We just look at life very very differently. Mm-hmm. Um and I think and a I'm honored to be considered a voice for the millennials. Um, <laughs> oh, definitely. Like, we're such a complex generation. <laughs> you are, but, I, but but that means there's just different voices I, exactly. in every generation. And I think yeah, for that. me, uh, just my biggest goal in life is to just be open and transparent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm willing to talk about any subject like. <laughs> well, you're in the right place. Yes. <laughs> that, that's kind of what we practice yes. here. Yeah. You know, yes, we, exactly practice we open, practice open, we practice transparent, Absolutely. we practice telling our stories and owning it. And I feel like that's where healing is. Mm-hmm. It is. Mm-hmm. You it can't heal is. from what you refuse to acknowledge. That's right. And you invite Jesus into mm-hmm. that process. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And I heard a quote, um, one of my favorite, so I have my home pastor, but one of my favorite virtual pastors is Sarah Jakes Roberts. <laughs> oh, yes. I like her. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> but she said a quote that, is literally a game changer. She said, God can't bless who you pretend to be. I know that's right. I was like, huh, I know that's right. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Duly yes. noted. That's right. And, and I've always been a, a very take it as you take it yep. as I am kind of person. Mm-hmm. But it's it's really true. Like God can't do anything with what you're pretending about. That's right. But that right. goes back to that self aware piece. That's right. For sure. If you're not self aware right. and you don't For know sure. who you are, mm-hmm. how do you expect God to I mean, Fix he only thing. right. Mm-hmm. He only can bless what he made. Well, that's what right. we, not what we pretend to be. Yeah. When we did right. the, the the dating part, absolutely. Right? That, we talked about that. You know, you can't people send their representative. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we talked about yes. that. Yes, yes, we did. That's why that was great. So, like diving into your book, you yes. talk about how you struggle with that whole dating. Yes, the the whole dating thing where you thought you had to be something different for somebody mm-hmm. else. And I mm-hmm. love that because I was like, mm-hmm. and she and uh, Marja and I were looking at the book and she said, she should have been on the dating thing talking yes. about oh the dating goodness. episode. Talk so about I haven't that. figured that out yet. <laughs> so I, mean, so I need to go watch the dating movie. <laughs> okay, well, we, we, did, we, did. we did a great a series, series. Yes. On, yes. on dating, on, on marriage, and all those things. And so you should. Go okay. watch those. I, I will, They're great. Her. But we already know it's not going to be our last conversation no, it's not. It's on not. relationships it's because they affect so much of our lives um actually on my way over here i was listening to a i some of y'all don't know this this is a true confessions i love ted talks yes like that's my that's my jam (laughs) so i was listening to a really short one and she was talking about just goal setting Mm -hmm. and which i picked it randomly but obviously god knew right yeah Mm -hmm. um and we need to all things work together (laughs) even the ted talk you pick on your on your short (laughs) everything um but she was talking about basically prior what are your priorities in your career Mm -hmm. in your relationships and for yourself and i just thought about those are some of the themes that ran through your Mm -hmm. book what your goal setting was for your career Mm -hmm. your relationships both romantic and friendships and family relationships Mm -hmm. um but then also the work that you did on yourself Mm -hmm. yes Mm -hmm. yeah so this reads almost like your journal. That's like exactly I, what it was. I, I, feel, <laughs> we were talking I, about I, that. I said, I said to Yolanda, we were talking I, said, about that. I think this is her journal. It is. I was like, like these are journal you entries. Know? Yes. Um, so, so why yes. did you choose that approach? And then why did you decide to publish that? Right. Yes. So um, it was, in fact, just a journal. When I wrote it, it was zero intentions on being a book. Right. Okay. I, when I turned thir- 23, I had just ended a very serious relationship, mm-hmm. and I had to come to my uh, myself, and he asked me a very important question. I don't know if he realized how important that question was, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but he said, he's like, what are your goals in life? And I was like, mm. to get married and have kids. Mm-hmm. And he was like, okay, what goals do you have that don't involve another person? <laughs> right. And I was like, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, so... When I so we broke up in like July and then my birthday came in October and my mm-hmm, mom mm-hmm. one of my gifts for my mom was a journal and I mm-hmm. said you know what this, I'm gonna spend the next year focused on growth in mm-hmm. every area of life. Okay, I was working out, trying to, mm-hmm. <laughs> I was trying to get myself together financially. <laughs> you know, just every yes. just attacking all of it yes. and mm-hmm. writing is my therapy. Right. Okay. 
Um, so I was actually in therapy at that time as well. But yes. it was just that additional, like, we wear masks every day. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And this was my... Like, I would go home and take off my mask yes. and pour it into this journal. Mm -hmm. And some days it was upwards of 10 pages a day. Wow. Um, just getting through all of the mm -hmm. baggage mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I'd been carrying for 23 years at that mm -hmm. point. That's right. And so, um, you know, I spent the whole every, the whole year just focused on myself, focused mm -hmm. on my growth, focused mm -hmm. on getting things figured out for myself. Right. Um, it wasn't until 26 that I did, well, 25 was when I made the decision to publish it. Mm -hmm. wow. um, so talk about that. Yeah. yeah. How did you decide to publish it? Yeah. yeah. So was it your mentor? Your audience, was it your mother? Like, like how, yeah. how did, how did we say, I'm going to take the personal <laughs> and make it public yeah. so that it can benefit That's other people? Yeah. And, and it really was ve some very personal things. <laughs> <in> <laughs> I know. I was I'm like, still getting some backlash. <laughs> <laughs> um, but when I was having the conversation with the woman at my church and uh, mm -hmm. about her daughter and I realized like my struggles can help someone with theirs. Absolutely. Yes. And that was and I actually shared a, a digital copy of the book with her at that point mm -hmm. um, to share with her daughter. And mm -hmm. I just when you hear God, you just have to do. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have wait, to make wait, sense. No, mm -hmm. pause. Just let's <laughs> go ahead. Just say let's that to park us. right there. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and sum that up in one word, and it's called obedience. obedience. Yes. <laughs> to obey is better than to sacrifice. Ooh. Yeah. And, and, and we ought to please God rather than please man. Yes. And that means that that man part includes ourselves, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And so it was a very scary thing. And what I learned in that moment was be careful who you share your dream with. Ooh. Um, because we talked about that, too, didn't we? She all over. I know. Right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, but what I realized was... You got to filter out who has, like, okay, mm -hmm. when you're when you're having a baby mm -hmm. and you got to protect it when it's an, a newborn, Absolutely. right? Mm -hmm. And then when it becomes an infant, you can get a little more mm -hmm. loose with who's mm -hmm. around the baby. Yeah. A little more. Just a little. A little, a little. little more. <laughs> and then Just when much. it's a kid, it's like, okay, you, you're you fine. Did. Call yes. me if you need me. <laughs> it's the same thing with your dreams, though. Yep. Mm -hmm. So when it, it was in that infancy stage, when I was still, because it was scary. Mm. That's fine. And yeah, I don't yeah. need anybody else's fear projecting onto mine. Yeah, she because it was on. already there. You know, so but I she needed people on the street. She is. <laughs> I, can we say lie up up and down the block? Can we say lie right here? <laughs> I just feel like we need a moment of silence. <laughs> Go ahead, Tierra. Yes. Um, but no, so w before it was actually done, mm -hmm. um, I told my my best friend, who was my accountability partner mm -hmm, at that mm -hmm, time, mm -hmm. my mentor, who was my business accountability partner, mm -hmm. um, and the Sora who whose company published the book. Okay. Um, and really, that was it, because I knew it was so sensitive, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. because you can imagine the different things that you would hear. Um, like the average author... At publishing of their first book, I want to say it's like forty six. Mm -hmm. So for me to do it at twenty three, wow, or twenty, I published at twenty six. But mm -hmm. like, you already hear, mm -hmm. and majority of authors are not African American. No, they A majority don't. of authors are not self published. Mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. already going up against the statistics. Mm -hmm. So to do something that was literally terrifying. I, I couldn't tell the world. <laughs> exactly. um, so literally, some of my family didn't even know about it until I started sending out the book release party oh, wow. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. information. Mm -hmm. And they were like, wait, you wrote a book? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I did, in fact. <laughs> yes, are you coming? Yes, exactly. um, and, and so, yeah, but it, it because there's so many truth mm -hmm. like it, and I had this conversation mm -hmm. with my mom, actually. She, she called some of it shade and I was like, it's it's my truth, absolutely. You know, and if mm. my truth is a a dag a, a jab at anyone else, like I can't control that. Right. This right. is my reality. Ooh. Right. Um. And there was a, like, if anybody had a reason to feel any kind of way, it was my father. Wow. Um. We're 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 okay now. Amen. <laughs> we're we're working on it, Amen. but I I did share the book with him before the party because I was like, listen, there's some things in here that you may not like right. mm -hmm. but it's my truth right. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and he read the book and like an hour later he was like thank you like you mm. sharing that like it's the truth I I know we had our issues you and you mm -hmm. know that's where we were at that point um, but I just had to take that dive and I had to be obedient and say you know what this book 
can help somebody who's dealing with daddy issues, Mm -hmm. who's Mm -hmm. dealing with depression, (coughs) who's dealing with suicide, who's dealing with low self-esteem. All of that's there to say Mm -hmm. you're not alone. That's right. That's right. And I think that's so important. And we've been sharing that theme all through this. So you you just said a whole lot. Yes, you did. Like, and we've had several shows on daddy issues, and Mm -hmm. I've had my own daddy issues. Mm -hmm. So that was actually a concern of mine even when I started this show. Mm -hmm. Like, Mm -hmm. just... I'm going to be putting things out there mm-hmm, that, you mm-hmm. know, it's not to offend, mm-hmm. but it's to tell the truth, mm-hmm. that's right? right? Because that's the truth of what happened. That's right. Right. And even though we move past that, mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. you said, it mm-hmm. can still help somebody mm-hmm. else. I've had people respond to me and say, I had the same kind of upbringing, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And, you and just that's don't when know. you know you're doing the right exactly. thing. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You just don't know who you're touching with that. And um, it's freeing to uh, let light into dark places, yes. right? Because yes. then once it's out, you're not carrying it alone. Mm-hmm. Good God, You yeah. know, it really... I felt so light out. After this book, I'm I sure was like, you listen, did. it's out there. <laughs> I'm sure you did because yeah. you, you you said what you needed to yep. say. Mm-hmm. Um, but the thing is, then there's nothing that anybody can, can pull hold on you. Yeah, you exactly. know, there are never going to be any surprises, right? Um, yeah. and there's a lot of freedom in that. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of freedom in that, mm-hmm. yes. And there were so many things that. Even though I've always been a transparent person, mm-hmm. there were still things that I still that I wasn't open about, mm-hmm. um, like growing up in the church, but then identifying as bisexual. Mm-hmm. That's something I've held on for years. Like literally, mm-hmm. family didn't know until they read it in the book. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and some of my family still we have not talked about it. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it's just some of those like it's there. Mm-hmm. This is wh- this is who I am. Mm-hmm. This is my experience. I am a Christian. Mm-hmm. I love God. Mm-hmm. I do identify in that mm-hmm. manner. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, not only that, but also never feeling free enough to say how I really feel about right. my dad. Right. And I think because in addition to therapy, mm-hmm. which <laughs> go go see a therapist. Just, right. Just go see a therapist. We've been talking about that. Too. <laughs> We've been talking about therapy. Just go a lot. A yeah. Lot. yeah. But I think him reading the book was the first time he really heard me. Right. Hmm. Right. And hmm. him being able to hear me without having the ability to defend himself. So that's how the conversations always went. Yeah. It would always be defense and excuses mm-hmm. and yeah. all of that. So yeah. him being able to actually, like, you can't not hear what I'm saying now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what changed the part about our our relationship a little bit because now we're now we're at a a base level. Mm -hmm. Now Mm -hmm. you know where I stand. I I've heard where you stand my whole life. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Mm -hmm. You now hear me. So now we can actually progress. Absolutely. I love what you shared about therapy. One of the things you said in your book on page 34 was therapy is beneficial when dealing with life problems we all have and can help provide clarity, guidance, and help to work through the pain. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. I know that that has been a reoccurring theme Mm -hmm. this summer on this show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you need therapy, please go go. get it. Like there's no shame in that. Exactly. Here's the thing I will say, um, particularly as the black Christian community, Mm -hmm. um, prayer works. Mm -hmm. It does. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you need an unbiased third party person Mm -hmm. to help you work through some of those issues, Mm -hmm. to help you talk about what's going on Mm -hmm. and process it and deal with it. Mm -hmm. And um, even if you don't feel like you need it, sometimes we all want a place to vent yes. where, you know, you don't right. you don't get that rebuttal no or that either. judgment. Yep. Um, yes. And no I judgment. will say this, if you have health insurance, which most of us do at this point, most health insurance will pay for it. Absolutely. Right. So yep. you really don't have a valid excuse. Right. Um, but my suggestions on finding a therapist Find someone who identifies with you on your race and gender. Because right. mm-hmm. mm-hmm. there's nothing a black wo- a black man can tell me about being a black woman, mm-hmm. and there's nothing a white woman can tell me about being a black woman. <laughs> it's just nothing you can tell me, especially an old white man. Please, just don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, but, just, so, however you identify, find a therapist that matches that identity. <laughs> and so, that's sorry. Real, so, that's that, just that real. Is, okay, I have two comments. <laughs> yes. I have two comments. <laughs> So as a counselor educator, she don't do a as a counselor educator, I would I would I understand what you're saying mm-hmm. and I fully respect that. Um, I will say that counselors are trained mm-hmm. to respect who their client right. is, mm-hmm. even if they don't personally identify think, that way. Right. And so there is a responsibility on the part of the counselor right. to come up to speed 
mm-hmm. in a way that they can respect the cultural background right. of their client. And, and some uh, yeah. people are good at navigating yeah. that, and some people are still working their way right. through yeah. that. But I wanted to also piggyback on what you said about this kind of being your published journal, but mm-hmm. also what you said about therapy is that it's an unedited place. Mm-hmm. And we edit ourselves All so the time. much. Yep. yep. So much in our day to day lives, and I think that's one of the reasons why we're always tired, mm-hmm. because yes. we're always filtering. I agree. We're always yep. trying to choose the right word yep. to say in each circumstance, yep. mm-hmm. and that's good, right? Because we want to be careful. Um, but you need a place to, to respect unpack. people, mm-hmm. right? But we do need that. We need a journal. We need a therapist. We yep. need mm-hmm. the accountability and the mentors. We need these safe places, places. Mm-hmm. Um, the close girlfriends and friendships we need all yeah. of that mm-hmm. um to be whole so our our healing really is multifaceted yes it is right so like journaling all is of it. part yeah, of that yeah. and you need the therapist time. is part of that yeah. the solitude is yeah. part yes. of that oh i loved your quote about solitude <laughs> Woo, go ahead and share that okay i because I, I know you have I'm that really all dog I'm, here I'm, yeah so you need I'm to just really go try it I, I look i didn't wrote part of my own life in it you <laughs> Listen, know that's the point yeah so <laughs> that's the point of it i would love that i mean i really yeah. i really do engage yes. when i read so but really quickly you said on page 95 I'm learning to appreciate alone time and mm-hmm. balance that with organically developing relationships as they enter my life. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so this was in your section where you're talking about struggles with love. Mm-hmm. But I, I really appreciate that you're talking about not just being able to love someone else, yes. but how you begin to, like you said in your title, finally love, love yourself. yourself. Mm-hmm. And the alone time is part mm-hmm. of that. Yes, so how have you kind of maintain time for solitude. I love it. <laughs> I, I, I honestly love it. So when I started this book, mm-hmm. alone time was scary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and now I'm like, who I can't <laughs> wait well, till my day to, well, to I'm meet. That. Why was alone time so scary for It you? was scary because, so I was dealing with a lot of baggage at that point. Mm-hmm. But even beyond that, um, just... When you're alone, you have to deal with yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. You have to deal with yourself. Mm-hmm. And so now that I've gotten to a place where I am dealing, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. not done yet. Right. Mm-hmm. But now that I've gotten to a place where I'm comfortable dealing with my issues and facing that, I enjoy that alone time now. Mm. Um, like, and, and the more comfortable I got with myself, mm-hmm. um, the less codependent I was. Right. Oh, um, she hit on. See that? That's she? that's another pause button right <laughs> she, there. She, she hit on because right we there. talked in earlier. Darnell, why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> we talked. Our, our sound engineer is laughing at us. Um, we talked this, this earlier we in our series mm-hmm. about yeah. codependence and talking about you know like anxiety and mm-hmm. depression yes. yeah. and um, bipolar yeah. and schizophrenia and all those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. So just say that again. Again, for our audience, please, yes. if you will. Yes. yes. Um, so I don't remember exactly what I said. <laughs> but it's okay. It you was said you had to deal line. with your codependency. Yes. yes. Yeah. So codependency is beyond just relationships. Yes. And I think that's also like this book came after a very serious relationship. Mm. Um, like we were practically married. We moved to another state together. Wow. Um, you know, plans on marriage and kids and all of that. And we were codependent. Mm -hmm. Not only that, codependency with friendships, Mm -hmm. codependency on family relationships. Mm -hmm. Um, And Mm -hmm. so having to deal with myself, Mm -hmm. I had to be okay with who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. And I had to realize, like, if I don't love me, no one really can. Yeah. And I had to learn to fill up my own cup. So... Mm -hmm. When you're functioning, like you put yourself first and you take care of your needs first and then you're at 100%. So when someone gives you 5%, you're like, oh, that's a bonus. Right. (laughs) Right? Exactly. Mm. But if you're functioning at 0% and someone gives you 5%, it's not enough. Mm -hmm. Yep. They gave the same 5%. Absolutely. Because that's what they had to give. Yep. Mm -hmm. But Mm -hmm. because I'm now at 100 it's extra credit. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I like that. I like that. I like that. Extra credit. It's <laughs> extra credit. And you are you're appreciative. Absolutely. Right. But if right. I'm at zero and you give me five, I'm like That's right. but I need more time. Right. I need That's more right. attention. Right. I need more energy. That's Why right. aren't you calling me when right. I want you to call? There That's you go. Right. And and when I tell you I have some busy friends. Yeah. Right. Like I 
that's some that's that neediness though. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's that real neediness because yep. there's a hole there in you, yep. but no one else can fill that up. That's exactly. Not, and before right. this this transformation journey, I was expecting like if I give you a hundred, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I want you to give me a hundred. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's not how the world works. No, it is not. But no, it is I was not. thinking Absolutely. if I would drop anything for you, you should be able to drop everything Absolutely. for me. Absolutely. And now and especially now I'm at this point, like I my boundaries are my boundary game is strong. Ooh, See, I wanted to talk bonds. about that. But you know what? Strong. There's somebody that's just joining us. Ooh. And so I want to remind them that we're talking with Tiara Nicole Riley about oh, her book, <laughs> Twenty Three and Finally Loving Me. If you want to call in, the number is two four zero three nine one eight six eight eight. We're taking your calls, your comments, your questions. Yes. Okay. Yes. Boundary game. Ooh. Boundary now, see, game. That's we, we, we that's talk a, quite that's a bit a, about boundaries. We talk on a the show. lot about boundaries on the show. I think it's yes. an important part of, of being self love. From you mean from self aware to self care. <laughs> Listen, you can't do self care without boundaries. You really can't. You can't and that self discovery you process, you yes. learn to what those there. boundaries are. Yes, exactly. You do. Okay. And I had to learn that not all energy is good energy. Mm. That's true. Um, and even though, like, I may not be able to get rid of you because of who you are in my <laughs> right, life, right? Right. But I can set healthy boundaries. I love that. I, I mean, seriously, because there are some people that you just can't, that's just you can't honesty. burn all bridges. That's just, that's just honesty. Look, really I can't. need a moment. <laughs> but <laughs> if you're going to be toxic, I, know what I don't have about space. I, I just moment. don't have space in my right. life. because, Or you limit the time, right? So for me, that's the I just boundary. limit exactly. the time that I exactly. spend in that space with those mm-hmm. types of that's people right. because they are draining. That's yeah. right. The people you love from a distance. I'm just exactly. saying, my mom <laughs> calls that with the long handle spoon. That's right. That's yep. that's right. And it doesn't change how I love the person. No, it does not. Mm-hmm. It doesn't change who they, who what they mean to me. What Absolutely. it says is, I'm living in positivity. Mm-hmm. You can either get on board. There you go. Or I'll come see you every once in a while. <laughs> and that's it. That's all. Like, the, I had a mentor that told me that. She's like, loving somebody does not mean that you have to that's always right. be have there access. all the time. That's she right. said, that's sometimes right. loving people is visiting them when you have the energy to do that's that. Right. That's right. And to then give backing to them. up. To give to when them. You know. Exactly. Yeah. You know, she yeah. said, because sometimes that's a phone call, loving somebody. Yes, it that's is. That's not going over there. Mm-hmm. Because you know, she did it. And I love her. Thank you, Benita. Like, I love her because she said, sometimes. Oh, that's Dr. That was Dr. B. <laughs> she said, sometimes you just got to give hey, them a phone Dr. call. B. Say, I love you. <laughs> And when you finish with that phone call, go back to being you. Like, mm-hmm. go back That's to your right. life. So that That's was right. a wonderful uh, yeah. piece of advice she gave me. And it freed me up. Mm-hmm. It did. She was like, you don't have to feel like you have to be in somebody's face all the time. That's, That's true. not where you are. That's true. Yep. And you need to drop some boundaries. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's self-care. Yep. Yes. Well, you know what? With all that you are juggling, because mm-hmm. we were talking about that yes. before mm-hmm. we started, um, you have a you talk about your mom, mm-hmm. and I love that part about your mom. So I'm yes. just going to read it briefly on page 141. My mother, are you listening, mother? <laughs> are you listening, <laughs> mom? Tune in and listen right <laughs> now, right here. We talk okay. about you. My mother has had her own company for almost 15 years, and watching her support two children on her own as a, as an entrepreneur has been breathtaking. Mm. Through her, I've seen a strong Strong ability to withstand the difficulties of entrepreneurship, enjoy the luxuries of complete autonomy, and have a complete trust in God to make Amen. things work. I'm mm-hmm. going to skip a little bit, but then you say, instead of asking, what if I fail? Ask, mm-hmm. what if I succeed? Amen. I speak from personal experience that the financial risk is not pretty, mm-hmm. but choosing to stay simply for the consistent paychecks would have crippled my soul. I love that. There is so much I, I love, love about that, that quote. <laughs> because you're supposed to be talking about your mama, but then you shift she to talking it. about you. You shift to talk it. about what feeds mm-hmm. and cripples your soul. Yes. Yes. You're talking yeah. about yes. your personal pursuit. You're talking about your business. Mm-hmm. So any one of those things, you go ahead and just jump in and comment on. <laughs> (laughs) Because, I mean, what I really liked is, you know, obviously the example that your mother set and how you were following in her footsteps. Mm. Um, You mentioned trusting God to make things work. That Mm. goes back to our scripture of the day. Yes, it does. Um, You may not know this, but we had someone on who talked about his business. Mm -hmm. And he said one of the things that he wished 
he had known was how successful he would mm-hmm. be. Mm-hmm. And so instead of that asking, what if I fail? Thanks, it's a totally, it's a total paradigm shift to say, mm-hmm. what if I succeed? Yes. What so you can talk about like? that. Exactly. Like, what does that look like? But then you could just talk about, you know, your business. Yes. So I'll start off by saying um, how that kind of flowed is because my mother was that example for me. Um, watching her literally work, for, and she's an accountant. So for years, Amen. her income came at tax season. That's mm-hmm. right, and it lasted all year. And so when you're raising two kids and primarily by yourself, and then you're also majority of your income coming at the beginning of the year, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. seeing her seamlessly, effortlessly mm-hmm. uh, make that work, mm-hmm. um, I know it's nothing but God mm-hmm. because she knew. Like, it was just a trust in that God's not going to let us end up on the street. That's right. right. And right. he did. That's right. You know what I mean? So just having that sense of like, listen, I don't have to have the details. Amen. I really Ooh. don't. I just have okay. to do what I'm supposed to do. You know to. what? Okay. Remember so, that box sorry, we talked sorry. about last year? We're we going to go ahead and have you. We're going we gonna to say lie right there, too. CTR, we getting it, we messing we messing around. Now. I'm we sorry. Getting <laughs> because you talked about one of your favorite internet preachers. Mm-hmm. So we have our home church. Yes. Mm-hmm. But one of our favorite internet preachers is Pastor Stephen Ferg. Hey, mm-hmm. Elevation Church. And he preached a message, um, and he basically said, "You don't have to know how if mm-hmm. you know who." Correct. Oh, that's right. Correct. That Correct. was a good message. And what was so wonderful to me, not only that, but it sounded like something that my old pastor years ago would have said. He's with Jesus now. But it sounded like something that he would have said. And I think that's one of the reasons why it stuck with me so much. <laughs> but whenever something hits our lives, we forget that. We start mm-hmm. looking at the how. Amen. That's not your business. I mean, my goodness. And if we had taken yeah. time to recap our last two days, not even a week, <laughs> yes. the last two days of our in lives. either one of our lives, yes. mm-hmm. it would have been a bunch of, how this going to happen and how yeah. this going to happen and yeah. how this going to happen. But at the, the end of the details day, are not for you to that's worry right. About. We know yeah. who. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And so we don't have absolutely. to know how mm-hmm. yep. because we don't have control over that anyway. Exactly. Absolutely. So I'm sorry. I just had to go yeah. ahead and jump in yeah, there. Yeah. And that was so funny because that w- that goes back to a previous thing where we said, uh, Marja said one year she was getting her little box, her her I don't need to know box. Yeah. And she was going to just start, I don't need to know that and put it in her little box mm-hmm. and put it away. So that made me laugh when she said that. I like, like that idea. That though. sounds like your I don't need tell to you. know box. Let me tell you. Shout out to my girl Chanel <laughs> because she she gave gave us those boxes years ago. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I put three things in that box and I opened that box since. <laughs> and I, I had to start a new box, right? <laughs> Because life changes, right? Yes, it does. But I love that concept. And I've since given those boxes to other people. Because I'm like, you know what? Just put it here. It's not for yeah. you to worry about. Put it about. here. Yeah. Yeah. And so I think that's where that transition comes from. Because I've seen that in action. Yes. Um, yes. I've seen her trust. Like, listen, the money's going to come. Mm-hmm. It's just, it, it's, it has to. Mm-hmm. Yes. It has to. Mm-hmm. Um, but not only that, um, I think, so for me, it, it looks like making sure that I'm in a place that literally feeds my soul. Mm-hmm. Um, the last job that I was at, because you know bills are real, mm-hmm. 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 bills are real. Mm-hmm. But I had to leave my that that company because every day my soul died a little bit. Mm. And as much as I was trying to be encouraging and motivating, and then to spend twelve hours at a place that killed me, yep. I, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, I'm now at a different company, mm-hmm. and I actually enjoy going. As much as you can enjoy going to work. I enjoy going to work. I love that Amen. real pause right Amen. there. As um, much as you can. <laughs> as much as you can. But, it, you know, it's just a different environment right. now. Yes. Um, and so, it, and it gives me time to focus on my business. The schedule is a lot better. Yes. Because um, as you uh, alluded to, I, I do a lot. Yes. yes. So um, talk about your business. Yes. yes my definitely. business. I do motivational speaking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a published author. Mm-hmm. Um, my second book will be out this October. Yeah. Um, so, it's so Ooh, excited. I didn't know that. So, I yes. learned something new today. Yes. And any little, can you? You give us a little know, drop right? okay, about the second book. Yes, yeah, so just a drop. Just, just a drop. Yeah. It's called "When Life Gives You Lemons," Ooh. Uh-huh. and it's about perseverance. Um, oh and this is when I kind of touch on the the recovery from the miscarriage mm. and how what I've learned in that process mm. and how I learned to get through literally rock bottom mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and how to make. And I think the the phrase, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What that means to me is you get something sour. Mm. You add some water. 
which to me, my water is God. Yes. Amen. You There's add a, a little, you add some sweet. Yep, yep, mm-hmm. yep. And now you have a tasty beverage yes. mm-hmm. that you can actually get through life with. Amen. So it's that's refreshing. what that means to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I talk about kind of that journey in the book number two. All right. I'm excited already. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. We got to yes. talk about that one next. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then I also, you know, I do motivational speaking. I have a workshop coming up. Talk about yes. that. Yes. Let's talk um, about your workshop. Audience. Yes. It's uh, Loving Me 2018. This is the second annual that nice. I'm doing this workshop. Nice. Um, you can purchase tickets through lovingme2018.eventbrite.com. Right. Okay. Um, tickets are $20, but if you use promo code Tierra Nicole, it's for 10 Hey, um, discount. And, yes. Discount. <laughs> For our viewers, exactly. we'll have to post that. Yes, <laughs> and if you're unable to attend, I'm asking everyone to sponsor a team. Um, if you use promo code SPONSOR, I'll know to give your, your ticket to a local team Amen. who needs this information as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so we do have a couple donated tickets so far, so Very I would cool. love anybody who could mm-hmm. um, just mm-hmm. donate a ticket or two or three or four. Mm-hmm. Um, I have so many teams that I'm involved with, okay. um, so I promise you they'll go to someone who, mm-hmm. who could use that um, encouragement. And the event Amen. will be September 15th yes. in the Upper Marlboro Library. Good. Okay. Good. Nice. Love it. Nice. I love it. We yes. always like promoting yes. positive yes. Thank you so workshops much. and things like that yes. on the show. Mm-hmm. Um, we know so many people who have children mm-hmm. or friends mm-hmm. 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 and things like that who really need to connect and, mm-hmm. and want to do this kind of stuff. Is there so. a target age? You talked about teens. So is there, is it solely teenagers? So anyone or? can come. Okay. okay. I okay. just really want teens to be able to come for free. Okay. Um, okay. Because Understood. a lot of times, and my little sister, she's almost 17 now, mm-hmm. and she's, you know, working her first jobs. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> it's real. Um, but it's now real. she's learning how to budget, and she's yes. like, listen, and I, what I don't want a teenager to say is, I would love to go, but. Yes. Exactly. Amen. And exactly. I don't want that to be a restriction. Amen. Amen. For sure. For Amen. Sure. I love your heart about that. Yes. Thank you. Thank yep. You. Yep. No restrictions. Awesome. Yep. All right. So, how has your life changed since you wrote the book? Since writing it or publishing it? Oh, mm. how about since right. publishing? That's right. Since publishing, publishing it. it. Oh yeah. man, life has changed um, because it's confirmed my purpose in this world. Mm. Um, so even when you figure out why you're here on Earth. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you still need that confirmation. Amen. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, and even being invited to be here today is confirmation <laughs> to say that you know your story does something. It Amen. matters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and so just confirming that the stories that have been put in my heart um, are helping someone. Amen. Like that has been the biggest change. Mm-hmm. And not only that, but it's been a reminder that I can't. Like I can feel the fear. Mm. But I can't let it stop Amen. anything. That's right. Amen. Because there's too much that God has entrusted me to do. Did yes. she say entrusted? Yeah. That's on my bracelet? You mean, <laughs> you, you mean Second Timothy? <laughs> and, that has been a running and reoccurring thing yes. with me oh over the my last goodness. year. I cannot believe she just said yes, that. Yes, but, but that, that's really what it is. He yes. gives us gifts for a purpose. Ugh. And if I if I sit on my dreams and if I sit on my goals and aspirations, like he put them in my heart for yes. a reason. Okay, Amen. sorry. Pause. <laughs> Were you at our church this morning? I, I was about to say. <laughs> because Pastor Mitchell was talking about Ephesians 2, wow. 1 through 10. Mm-hmm. And 10 talks about the good works that God prepared mm-hmm. beforehand mm-hmm. for us to do. Amen. Yeah. And I feel like they're... they're Mm. It would be selfish of me mm. to sit on my gifts, mm. to sit on my calling, and delay. Because wow. even Jesus. when it's something as serious as suicide, mm-hmm. my delay can cause someone my to Lord. end their life. My Lord. Okay, we did a whole show on suicide. Yes, we did. And we had a mother mm-hmm. whose son committed suicide mm-hmm. come in and share her mm-hmm. story. About the delay in getting him to the mm-hmm. doctor. He never made it. Mm-hmm. And, and yes. that's what I'm saying. Like, mm. me sharing my testimony, me putting it out there, even if it may cause embarrassment mm. or judgment on my part, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if it reaches that one person who Amen. at that very moment needed to hear that, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's worth it. Yes, Amen. it is. It's worth it. It is. And, and that's what I talk about. So I have a YouTube channel as well on Nicole's Network. Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but I talk about everything because I don't want... Something to be put on my heart. Mm-hmm. Right. And mm-hmm. then I wait or delay. Mm-hmm. Yes. And that was the one week somebody needed to hear. Mm. I love that. You mm, know why? Yes. Because I think sometimes, sometimes I, um, I'm challenged. 
Um, <laughs> because I, she said. I, <laughs> I feel like, you know, um, when you want to be transparent, mm-hmm. sometimes people perceive you as thinking you know it all. Mm. But I am so committed mm-hmm. to no one making the mistake that they mm-hmm. don't have to make mm-hmm. right. because I was not willing to share. Mm-hmm. Exactly. exactly. Okay, so that's like the mo- I, I'm with you. I yeah. share that motivation, right? Yeah. Um, and oftentimes, like you said, you would rather suffer the embarrassment mm-hmm. right. or someone be upset if it could be life changing for yes. anybody, for any even one, just one person. person. Yeah. And the reality is, you know, we believe in the Lord. We believe in Jesus. Amen. He came for one person. Mm-hmm. Yes, he did. Right. And if one person yes, he did. was worth his death, his sacrifice. Right. Then it should one person should be worth ours, too. Exactly. Amen. Exactly. I think sometimes I think about that in terms of even this show right yes. there there yes. are weeks where it is very difficult Ooh, for hard. us to get mm-hmm. through and, and you know yep. we we yep. do this every sunday but we're preparing all week that's right mm-hmm. right we're that's setting right. up guests we're communicating with people or even before that even, <laughs> you know we're praying and we're trying to see where god is leading us that's right and i mean i know i i can't speak for marjorie but i know for me you it's probably times can. when you <laughs> Times when we would rather not, right? We would oh rather That's stay not, asleep. Right? That's the at easy, home. but I, I will say this <laughs> easy way. But God propel, impe- just puts propels it on our heart, like He just propels he just us forward. Right. Like yeah. we can't not do it. That's right. right? And That's it's right. not because I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I want to. Sometimes I want to stay asleep on the couch yes. after church. Yes, because I'm tired. Yes. Yeah. Um, but that would not be doing what God has called. Me exactly. To do. That's exactly. Right. And I will say this. A lot of times people think, or a lot of Christians think, that the devil is just out to get your salvation. Hmm. That's really not his MO, in my opinion. I think he's out to stop you from being who God called you to be. And when we give into fear Mm -hmm. and when we give into, um, (laughs) like, just feeling like, oh, I'd rather not, Mm -mm. he wins. He does. Okay. I'm sorry. It, I, I hate to keep stopping it's you. Okay. But, it's okay. But I mean, where have you been? Because I feel like you was at my house. I had a conversation with my mom. I'm just who, a fly on the wall. Who lives in New Jersey. Yes. Mm-hmm. That her pastor preached today. Mm-hmm. The devil is not out to steal yeah. What See? you think he's coming to steal? Right. He is coming to steal your purpose. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then you pretty much just yes. said, the, said same thing. the same thing. But here's the thing. So I wasn't a fly on <laughs> My your wall. My mind is blown. <laughs> I wasn't a fly on your wall, but that's God. It yes, is it God. is. Oh, and I know it. it. And, I know it. And when it I so I make a genuine effort. Everything in my business, whether it's my video blogs, my written blogs, I'm like, okay, what do you want me to talk about? Amen. Mm-hmm. And, and when you put him in a position to uh, kind of be the steering wheel of your life Amen. um and so, and use the bible as your gps Amen. that's when you get to be in a place where you can say things like that and it hit a nerve that's right mm-hmm. that you probably need a confirmation right that's right i didn't right. know that that's right. but god did that's right so, yep so, that's, that's how he works always mm-hmm. and he god always is so gracious that. to give us confirmation yes, mm-hmm. he is. right because he knows that we need it exactly yes. it's not because he has changed his mind about anything he right. knows mm-hmm. that we need to hear it mm-hmm. over and over yes. and over oh and again. i'm that one <laughs> listen so <laughs> my relationship <laughs> with god he literally is like my dad yeah. and i'd be like you sure <laughs> you sure Wait, how many times have i told you that did you say that <laughs> All right, remind me again. <laughs> okay. You Send like Gideon. Side. She like Gideon over here. She like went out of fleece. So, but, wait, and I've done fleeces before. But here's the thing, though. Make it dry. Exactly. <laughs> Make it wet. Yep. Make it red. Yep. <laughs> as soon as she said that, I'm yep. like, she like Gideon over yep. here. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. Once I get it in my soul, mm-hmm. you can't stop me. There you I, go. Come on now. You yes. cannot stop. The same thing with this book. Like, it was years of, Really? Right. No. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. No. Exactly. But the moment I made that decision mm-hmm. that I'm going to obey, mm-hmm. no one could stop me. Amen. That's like, right. Like there was lit, and there were people who were like, "Well, maybe you should wait. I feel like you're rushed." This year, it yep. has to come out because you know God will like put that in you where mm-hmm. you're just like you can't even I rest, have to. right? Yeah. You just you can't even yeah. be still like until yeah. you do what He asked you to yep. do. Yep. And I've explained that, tried to explain that to people mm-hmm. sometimes, and yes. they're just like, "Oh, but Yolanda, yes. I'm like, I, I have yeah. to do it you now. Gotta like, do it I have right. to do yeah. it now because it's bothering me. Like, yeah. that's the right. Holy Spirit and that's will how, just keep bothering yeah. you. About and the spirit it. of transparency. That's how it was with the work, the Loving Me workshop. So I did the first one. That one I just did, right? But this year I was like the. 
it was fear working, but I didn't realize it was fear. Mm. Um, which fear is so sneaky, by the oh, way. Oh, yes, it is. But once I realized it was like, I was like, okay, I need to do the workshop. I need to do it in the summertime. I need to do it in the summertime. Obviously, it's happening in September, so right. we're a little it's, late because I was okay. late. It's, almost, it's, it's not, but not all over things. until September 20th. And so it's you September can... 15th. So we're good. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. <laughs> but I, and it was really the who's going to come? Yep. Yep. Is it worth it? Wow. Should I? If it's obedience, it's always worth it. Is. It. it is. And the fact that I already have tickets donated for teens, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. literally the first day I opened the Eventbrite go. link, mm -hmm. I got go. donations for teens. So that was, even in that was my confirmation. Yes. I said, yes. you know what? There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I need mm -hmm. to do this. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it was still one of those things where I was like, you sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Yeah. I Should think I? because we want to be sure, but God's already made up his He's mind. like, listen, I didn't told you. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But because he's my dad, he gets it. Like, yep. He's, he's yep. like, you know what? He knows yes. who you are. I, yes. And that's his patience. He knows who you yes. are. He knows that's his grace. <laughs> yeah, it's his grace. His grace and his goodness. mercy and goodness towards us. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that we have to be so grateful for mm. every day. Mm -hmm. Every right? day. Thank God. Some uh, One of the scriptures today was his mercies are new mm -hmm. every day. And I said, oh, Lord, I could so relate to that because I think I probably repented so much this week because it was so just that kind day. of week. <laughs> I mean, but this week was just. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, I do it daily, but it was awful yeah. this week. Like, I just be honest yeah. with y'all. It was just yeah. that kind of week. I was like, Lord, I, literally, I'm so glad you sent Jesus because I would have been like, one, you know, in the Old Testament when they used to just burn people up. Right. Open the, I probably would have been that this week. Mm -hmm. It was just like that this week. I mean, I'm just being real. It's real. Yeah. It's it, real. It was just and a I think very that's rude, why I speak so. with such a um, a judgment free tone. Because mm -hmm. one, I don't have a heaven or hell to put in. I know that's in. right. Mm. I really don't. Mm. But also, like, I got my own stuff I got to deal with. Yes, How about we that? Do. Like, I have my own baggage. I have mm -hmm. my own flaws that mm -hmm. I'm trying to deal with. And until I get that under control, I can't say nothing about yours. Which is like that's never true. right. <laughs> so we go home with you. Like, I can't say like, nothing never. about yours. That's right. And, you know, it's just. Everybody sin different, but we all sin. That's, That's true. what I always That's tell true. my kids. Exactly. You know, when they're pointing out other kids, everybody sin. And different. God doesn't yeah. see love, but it's all sin. sin. He yeah, really he doesn't. doesn't. Um, we all in need of grace. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. And that's all I can... Forgiveness and grace mm -hmm. yep. every day yep. for everybody. So. Well, we are at the end <laughs> no, of our hour. Can you believe that? I can't, honestly. <laughs> I was like, wait, it's... Wait. It goes by It goes so by fast. very quickly. So, so I know what you about to ask, so go ahead and ask her. Tierra, is there anything you would... <laughs> I'm going to get you. Y'all see how Yolanda's acting today? Um, is there anything that you would like to share with our audience before we sign off? Yes. Yes. Um, what I will say is self-care is self-love. Amen. And I say that because, especially as black women, um, I actually posted about this on my Instagram today, Tierra Nicole 1011. It's right there. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. um, but the black <laughs> superwoman complex is a real thing. Mm. It is. We want to be everything for everybody, but we're not there for ourselves. Mm. You cannot pour from an empty cup. Mm -hmm. So you have to start with taking care of you. Mm -hmm. yes. And you have to make sure that your needs are met mm -hmm. before you meet the needs of Amen. anyone else around mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And when you start with self-love, mm -hmm. everything else is easy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I think those are great part and words. They are fantastic parting yes. words. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank, so you for to be here. Yes. thank you so much. Wonderful having you yes, on the show Thank you today. for having me. For <laughs> and sure. just tell us one more time about the September 15th yes. event. Yes. Loving Me 2018.eventbrite.com. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. um, it is going to be a self-love workshop, but we're talking about, um, so one of our sores, Tamara Stallings, is going to be oh, there. Good, She's good. going to be talking about professional development. So she keeps saying one of our sores. We're both members hey, yeah. of Sigma Gamma Rho <laughs> Sorority Incorporated. Yes, 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 so yes. I just wanted to throw that out. I know just I told you before. It's, but... it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she'll be speaking on professional development. Awesome. We have another soror coming from Charlotte. She's a oh, millennial nice. blogger. Her name nice. is Misha Francis. Very cool. She's that, That's my sister soror. Like, there's levels to soror. It is. She's, She's my right. sister so far. That like, inner circle. Like, inner circle. I'll do anything there for you her. Go. Right Don't let that. the necessary occur. <laughs> okay? Um, but she's coming to talk about living your best lives. Amen. I have a personal trainer friend. He's awesome. coming to talk about fit and, um, health. And then Ooh, I'll yeah. be speaking as well. Nice. Um, we're looking to have vendors as well. So if you want to vend for the event, um, my email address is, you can, it's on 
We'll post it. We'll yeah, post it. sure. <laughs> yes, yes. And um, what time is the event? Again. The event is from two to four. Yes. Okay. And again, if you cannot make it, please consider donating your ticket to a teen. Okay. If you use promo code awesome. sponsor, mm -hmm. all of those um, tickets are going to be donated to local teens so okay. that they can get this information ahead of the game. Because nice. I feel like the earlier you learn it, that's right. The yeah. earlier there you, go. you, you can, can apply it. it. There exactly. You go. Exactly. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and pray our way out. Mm -hmm. Am I praying today? Yes, ma'am. I guess I'm praying today. <laughs> so, Lord, we thank you today for TIR being here. And we thank you that... Um, we have been able to share this series with our viewers this summer and that we have had wonderful speakers. And we pray that even for the one, God, you yes. came back for even the one, Lord, you, um, that it would help somebody, Lord, that somebody would be touched by what we have shared, not only today, but all summer. We thank you that we have addressed this issue that can be difficult in our community, um, even in our, 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 our uh, country. It is a big issue, Lord. But we pray that somebody will reach out for help or assistance because of all of the guest speakers and all of the information that we have shared this summer. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your blessings. As, and we pray that you would get everybody home safely today and that whatever they heard would reach their heart. In Jesus' mm. name we pray. Amen. 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 And you know how we end the show. Keep rising. And bring somebody with you. See you guys next that. week. <laughs> thank you, Tara. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're listening to the best Radio VPS.